What's up everybody, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm gonna reveal the 50 subscriber special Pokemon opening. So I have an item right next to me that we are gonna be cracking as soon as the channel hits 50 subscribers, which at the time of me recording this and the time of you seeing it, because I plan on uploading it today, we are sitting at 30 subscribers. That's only 20 away from 50. Look at those math skills. So point being, we're real close. Every time I upload a short that gets picked up by the algorithm, we gain like two or three subscribers. So I'm hoping that we'll get there pretty soon. Um, you'll find out what it is that we're opening. I'm getting excited just looking at it, but stick around to the end of the video. First, I wanna show you some items that I've been picking up. This will be a mixture of like my resale items as well as personal collection items. First and foremost, we've got five EV VMAX promos. These are from the Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box. I picked these up for um, $3.75 a piece. Um, which is a pretty good cost average for a card with like solid fundamentals like this. The only thing harming this promo is the fact that it was heavily printed. I mean, they're out there. Um, TCA Gaming has been buying up some of these as well. He's obviously got substantially more than I do, but these are a good grab um, pending price range, but they've got great fundamentals. You know, it's a cool, cool artwork, very popular Pokemon. Um, it's a sealed promo, so that that has some traction for a lot of people but you know the shining fates etbs are cheap and there's a lot of them out there so it'll be interesting to see what these do in the future but 375 for a card like this i'll take it all day next up is going to be a combination of personal collection and resale cards and i'll explain why so i bought a lot of shadowless common cards um we've got the weedle we've got the voltorb We've got the Sand Shrew and the Nidoran. And there's one more card behind the Nidoran that is the real reason that I bought this lot. But let me first explain why I grabbed it. So these four cards, I think I already have in my Shadowless Binder set. What you may or may not know is I've recently, since purchasing my, my most recent collection pickup, I've decided to put together a Shadowless base set um, binder collection. So I think I have all four of these commons, maybe not Nidoran. But the next card is Squirtle. Now here's what you might not know. The price that I paid for all five of these shadowless commons was about $10 and I think 60 cents. If you check on eBay, that's about the price of this Squirtle. Um, looking at the card, I mean, we've got a little bit of whitening on the edges and corners. I mean, it's definitely not mint, but this is like a lightly pl light play copy. If you look on eBay, a light play copy of Squirtle, you know, 10 bucks is a decent buy price. That's what I paid for this whole lot. So my plan, essentially, I got this Squirtle for a cost average of $2, despite it being, you know, listed as a $10 plus card. So since I already have these four Shadowless Commons, Shadowless cards are very liquid. So I'll sell off these four for probably two bucks a piece or so. Maybe I'll lot them up with some other cards that I have duplicates of. And then I've essentially gotten my Squirtle for next to nothing. So there's a, there's a little trick for some of you that are looking on or they're, you're looking towards like building sets on a budget. These are some of my strategies. Now, the last card that I'm gonna show you is gonna initiate a little bit of a rant. So um, this is another Shadowless card. First, I just wanna show you the back. Okay, if you didn't just like wail in disgust, then I don't know what you're thinking. This is a gross, gross back of a card for sure. Um, before I show you what this card is, I wanna tell you the Shadowless Charizard, I have seen copies with backs like this or worse listed for almost $400 on eBay with like sep like dozens of watchers. My question is, why would anybody consider paying $400, $300 even for a card that's back looks like this? I'll tell you, this is not the Shadowless Charizard and I will never pick up the Shadowless Charizard in this condition for a price like that. This Shadowless Hollow I paid $7 for. It's the Hitmonchan. So not the most desirable holographic card. It's definitely in played condition, but the front looks great. I mean, it just looks great. Obviously, there are some scratches on the hollow. It's not a mint card, but this is going to be a great binder copy for my Shadowless set. The saturation on this Hitmonchan is spot on. That's what I love the most about Shadowless. The color, the color is just so deep. It's gorgeous. So again... If you're looking at purchasing a card like the Shadowless Charizard, 
uh, I would not recommend, I would recommend being very careful what you're willing to spend on a card like that, because there's a lot of them out there. And frankly, $300 is a lot of money, folks. So that being said, um, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the pickups that I've made recently. Um, I'm a little bit out of practice with recording. I haven't recorded a video in like weeks, so hopefully you guys are bearing in or bearing with me a little bit. But now, with no further ado, let's check out what we're going to open on the channel as soon as we hit 50 subs. We've got a Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box. I've opened one of these up in the past with just a friend of mine on the... Tw Actually, it was on the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, like when Logan Paul did that not-so-good second box break. Um, I got skunked out of the only Hidden Fates ETB I've ever opened, and I've got a feeling that this one has something really good in it. So, as soon as we hit 50 subscribers, we will crack this bad boy and we will all find out if this is worth it. With that being said, thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, please join in so we can get into this guy a little bit sooner. Thank you all very much, and I'll see you next time.